Good morning, Hornets. It's a terrific Tuesday here at VCHS. We're your host, Mason. And I'm Emerson. So let's kick off today's lunch. Today we have chili, corn chips, fresh broccoli, cinnamon roll, pineapple, and a cold milk. That sounds delicious. Why don't we take a look at today's holidays? Today is International Ninja Day, International Volunteer Day, Krampus Knock Day, Light Up a Life Day, National AFL-CIO Day, National Blue Jeans Day, and National Communicate with Your Kids Day. Let's take a quick glance at your top five news stories of the day with Caleb. Hi, my name is Caleb Cattare, and these are the top five news stories. Wichita will host the 2023 Men's Soccer NAIA National Championship. LeBron James Museums open up in Akron, Ohio. Boy driving stolen forklifts leads police on a slow speed pursuit. Wichita nurses who participate in strike cannot return to work for four days after strike concludes. Federal government looking for speed limiting software in new cars, trucks, and SUVs. Next, here's Tuesday's Word of the Day. This week's Word of the Week is diligent. Having or showing care and conscientiousness in one's work or duties. And here's the quote of the day. It is the most powerful weapon you can use to change the world. B.B. King. Remember, Hornets, next week is Spirit Week. Wednesday is Candy Cane Day. The first 150 students to come to the Stucco table get a free candy cane. And then Thursday is Ugly Sweater Day. And then Friday is Flannel Day. First 50 to come in, um, get Little Debbie's Christmas tree. Who's your celebrity crush? Let's see what some Hornets have to say about that. What's up? My name is Lena Hinky, and uh, my celebrity crush is, um, what's her name? Uh, Carrie Underwood. My name is Jacob Morton, and my celebrity crush is Ana de Armas. Levi Rose, and my celebrity crush is Jennifer Lawrence. Megan Fox, Madeline Klein. I Spice, Jennifer Aniston, Selena Gomez. Hornets, remember, the Holiday Choir Concert is on Wednesday, December 6th at 7 p.m. in the auditorium. Next up, here's a voting PSA. Hi, it's Samuel Randolph, and if you are... 18 or older than 18, you should be registered to vote so you can be engaged in local politics and, you know, non-local politics. Now, let's tune in into our Tuesday Tunes. And here's to hope with today's weather. Today's high is going to be 55 and tonight's low is going to be 33. Now for a quick blast to the past. Latch your up rope with this day in history. Stay, Stay classy, classy, VC. December 5th, 1933. Prohibition ends in the United States after more than a dozen years as Utah ratifies the 21st Amendment to the Constitution. That measure repeals the 18th Amendment, which had banned the manufacture, sale, or transportation of alcoholic beverages. 1791. One of the world's great classical composers, Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart, dies in Vienna, Austria. He was just 35 years old. 1901. Disneyland is your land. Here age relives fond memories of the past. And here youth may savor the challenge and promise of the future. Walt Disney, creator of Mickey Mouse, Donald Duck, and an entertainment empire including major theme parks, is born in Chicago. And 1932. <laughs> Little Richard, one of the early stars and shapers of rock and roll, is born Richard Wayne Pennyman in Macon, Georgia. Today in History, December 5th, Carlotta Bradley, The Associated Press. 